good news is that Kenya has achieved its target of attaining a minimum of 10% tree cover as part of the national effort to address the challenge of climate change. According to the National Forest Resources Assessment Report 2021, released by the Kenya Forest Service, the country's tree cover stands at 12.13%. This even as the country continues to struggle with challenges of physical infrastructure, forest fires and illegal logging. Raquel Muigai with more details. If the Kenya Forest Service report is anything to go by, then the country is in the right trajectory in achieving its vision 2030 as far as climate change and environmental conservation is concerned. Kenya has a total of 7,180,000 hectares of tree cover, which then translates to about 12.13% of the total land area. This therefore means that the country has been able to attain and surpass a minimum of 10% Tree cover. Central, western and coastal regions have more tree cover than the rest of the country. Nyeri County leading the list with a tree cover of 45.17%, followed by Lamu, Vihiga, Kirinyaga and Elgeo Marquette. Marsabit County has the lowest tree cover at just 2.06%, with counties like Mandera, Wajia, Siaya and Machakos accounting for the bottom five counties in that category. Some Asal counties like Garissa, Makweni, like Kipi and Kajiado, and Trukana, and even uh, so that even though they are Asal counties, they have been able to enter into the above meridian by achieving or having a tree cover of more than 10%. And that is encouraging because it tells us that it's possible to pull the other counties to above 10%. Tree cover. At the moment, the Kenya Forest Service is looking towards achieving a tree cover of 30% by year 2050. But the challenge of rapidly expanding physical infrastructure, especially in counties like Nairobi, Kisumu and Mombasa, which have low tree cover per capita, still remains. There is always a trade-off between environment and development. Uh, there is what we call offsetting of that loss. If you have lost, for example, five hectares to development, you would be allowed or you would have committed to basically restore not less than seven, uh, 10 hectares of forest land. Strategically, balance both the development needs of the country and forest conservation is a tricky balance, but that is what is expected when you talk about development and environment conservation. But save for the tree cover that accounts for individual trees within an area, Kenya Forest Service is also setting its eyes on expanding the country's forest cover, which has been threatened by fires and illegal logging. We should not experience moratorium because of unethical behavior between or collision between Kenya Forest officers and the forest industry. Fire is an area that we have raised as an area that we need to really develop our capacity and response. And already we have submitted our request to Treasury to be able to be funded to be able to buy these tractor mounted capabilities to be able to open us fire, uh, fire bricks. That will help us a lot to improve our capability. The report is set to provide a baseline upon which environmental policies will be made, especially in regards to climate change. Raquel Muigai, Citizen TV. Okay.